Another beautiful Saturday afternoon here in the central Appalachians of the southwestern part of Virginia. I'm Mark. You're watching the Garage Guy 879 channel. Today is Saturday, June 13th, 2020. This video, my friends, is about this little rifle right here. I got it as a companion to my Smith & Wesson M&P 1542. This is the M&P 1522 Sport, and it's chambered in 22 LR. You know, it's a good fun plinker for somebody that's maybe wanting to train to eventually have an AR, or just, you know, a good practice piece, you know, a good companion rifle. Anyway, what it comes with here, 25 round magazine, and uh, it, this is really a nice, uh, little AR rifle for its caliber. Uh, you got the fold down in bus style sights right here, front and back. And I have shot this before and I guess I got maybe around 100 rounds through it. And it was seen here initially on my channel two or three weeks ago when I uploaded a video called Some Saturday Shooting. I let my good friend Marky take a few shots with this. Didn't have a bit of problem with it. Now when I first got it, in the first rounds I put through it, I had some problems. I had some jams with it. Uh, it wouldn't want to, when I'd fire around and when it would chamber the next round or try to chamber, the round would go up like that and would not go into the barrel. So, you know, I don't know if it was a magazine. I don't know if it was ammo. I'm just using the... Uh, bulk ammo Remington Thunderbolt here. We'll give this a try. Hopefully we'll have some good luck here. And uh, this this is a nice rifle, you know. It comes with about everything standard AR comes with. Uh, you do have the, uh, you got your safety here on the back. Uh, it doesn't have a dust cover or forward assist button on it, you know, but it's 22 LR. You really don't need that on something like this. But anyhow, well, what do you say? We'll give it a try here. See if I have any problems. Hopefully I won't. We'll go ahead and... There we go. It's going to be shooting with these scrap steel targets here in general. And it did it again. Point name and safe direction. Don't know if we can get a close up of that here. On there you can see the uh, head of the bullet right there. <laughs> yeah. Bulk rounds. I just say that's on the ammo. Well, like I said, safe direction out chamber the next strand. Let's try this again. And we're empty. Well, one out of what? 25 rounds? That's not bad. Like I said, cheap bulk camo. Huh. Guess it's time to take the old tagger off. This, of course, does have the 16-inch uh, reel or a 16-inch uh, barrel on it. Mag pull in bus, fold down sights, as I said, of course. Uh, yeah, good old Smith and Wesson. 
Now when I got this out of the box, it come with the 25 round magazine. Also come with a little accessory I could put on the bottom of the rail or here on the side uh, for an attachment. You can put a light or red dot or whatever, not a red dot, but maybe a laser, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to do that with this. This is just going to be a plinker for me. It does have the adjustable shoulder stock right there. It does have the uh, sling swivel for a shoulder strap. Of course, I'll probably take that attachment and put it on front and put a sling swivel on it for the shoulder strap. Light as a feather. I don't know the exact weight of it. But actually, if you look at it with this rail, it's probably a better looking rifle than the uh, M&P 15 Sport 2. I mean, hold on here. Get a good look at both of them right there. See what I'm talking about? The rails. This one here, I believe, is better looking than this. <laughs> but, you know, if somebody out there, you want to learn how to use one of these, this is what you start with right here, okay? Or maybe for a younger person just getting into the shooting sport, this right here can be a good way to go. Semi-auto, you talking Marlin Model 60, Ruger 1022, well this Smith & Wesson 1522 Sport is an excellent choice also, you know. Hmm. Gotta tell you, Smith does make some good firearms, okay? Well, look, I'm Mark, GarageGate79. I'm going to get on off here. i got some things to do this evening. And uh, hope you all have a nice weekend. Take care, my friends.